some post for you, Poirot. Mr. Hercule Poirot, you fancy yourself, don't you, at solving mysteries that are too difficult for our poor thick-head British police? Let us see, Mr. Clever Poirot, just how clever you can be. Perhaps you'll find this nut too hard to crack. Look out for 21st of the month. Yours extra. A. B. C. Oh, it's some sort of joke. Maybe. But please remind me to inform Chief Inspector Jap. It's here, Poirot. The murder took place in this street. Grim place indeed. Tout à fait, Hastings. The streets of Andover are in a terrible state. Look, there's Chief Inspector Jap. He's talking with a policeman. Let us try not to get our shoes wet. Don't dilly-dally, Poirot. Jap will be waiting for us. Over here, it's Hastings and Poirot. You missed the nine o'clock train? We took the half past ten. Luckily the service is good to Andover. So, Chief Inspector, what do we have? The victim is called Alice Asher. She owned this tobacco shop. She was killed yesterday with a blow to the back of the head. At what time? Let me just check. Poirot, my friend, give me a minute to find a damn notebook. Is Jap being too relaxed? Let us find the clues that prove it. Indeed, Poirot, we were used to seeing you judge people with more discretion. Jap is in a good mood. I bet he thinks he's already called the culprit. The last customer to see Mrs. Asher alive left her shop at half past five. The body was found at around eleven in the evening by an officer doing his rounds. The shop door was open. That's what alerted him. Had anything been taken? 
A little tobacco, maybe, but you'd hardly murder for a few smokes. There's nothing of any real value in the shop. What type of woman was Miss Asher? In her fifties, married but separated, no children. A husband? Aha, Franz Asher, the husband. Alcoholic and violent. It's said that he regularly insulted his wife and threatened to kill her. A little too easy, don't you think? You like complications, don't you? Well, this time you may be disappointed. Peut-être. May I examine the crime scene? Of course, old chap. I'll be with you in a minute, Poirot. This fruit and vegetable shop has a front row seat, therefore an employee might have noticed something. This fruit and vegetable shop has a front Red liquid is... Red liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? It's not just any railway guide. It's an ABC. It's not just any railway guy. It's open at the letter A. There are no prints on the book. Red liquid is oozing out. Is it blood? No. It's just some strawberries that are losing their juice. They probably come from the fruit and vegetable shop opposite. She has a packet of play cigarette next to her hand. Did she drop it when she fell? She has a packet of play cigarette next. This poor woman's head is resting in a very even shaped pool of blood. She just has one wound on the back of the head. There are no other wounds or signs of a struggle. This poor woman. I can't see any other mark on the floor. I can't see. I can't see. There are cigarettes packets in a mess on the shelf. There are cigarettes packed. The T 
still does not appear to have been touched. Something is preventing the drawer from opening. Something is preventing the drawer from opening. mechanism has just made a fan click. The till is full of money, but there is something strange. Something is hidden underneath. 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 I need to find the code. I need to find the code. This must be the key to the back of the shop. The door is locked. box. It looks like you have to slide the slats of wood to open it.
Hmm, it is blocked. Hmm, it is blocked. Hmm, it is blocked. This button appears to activate the mechanism. Hmm, it is blocked. Hmm, it is blocked. That should do it. Who is this young woman? To my dear Aunt Alice, Marie Drauer. Have you found anything? The victim has a niece. We must find her.